Lil Haiti Films. We're about to drive from Florida to New York. This is our fourth year in a row doing this. So, Roddy, grab your seat. <laughs> This is the fourth year in a row. We're driving from Florida to New York and we're making pit stops in DMV, Maryland, and all that good stuff. And we're pulling up on random followers. This is a little paradise, man. Okay. <laughs> I appreciate you showing this no around. No problem, man. We've been following each other for a good time. <laughs> for a good like two, time, two, man. Two years yes, into today. Finally. Finally meeting. Yeah. <laughs> I just love the jet skis, man. I'm passionate about it. I love the water. As you can see, that water is amazing. It's like, it clean out your souls, like really. Like just going out there, it's amazing. I love it. That's the only reason. I, like even if I was not making any money from it, I'll still be on the jet ski. Qatar, man, I was deployed. I was deployed in Dubai, and then me and this uh, this other soldier, we went on a trip and got on the jet ski the first time and fell in love with it since, man. That was like years ago, man. <laughs> Thank you, Sir Passe Rental. We appreciate the, um, your time. Thank you for the hospitality, showing us your city anytime. and the rental. Greatly appreciate it. Anytime, brother, anytime. <laughs>
famous crown of Utica and President. Utica and President. Uh, August 19, uh, 1991. That's where the Crown Heights riot occurred. We're in Crown Heights, Brooklyn. You know what I mean? My hometown where I grew up. But 1991, 31 years ago, it was a car coming down the street, going down the street we just passed on President, and they ran into this young little boy named Jason. But when they come here, I want you to be safe. I want you to cross the street. Don't get killed so people can move. There's so much going on. What do you feel about the, the backlash that um, uh, Mayor Dinkins got? Because Mayor Dinkins went, went for uh, two terms. After okay. he, went, he went for a second term. He didn't get elected, elected for the second term only because of how he handled the situation. Right. Mayor Dinkins came in at the wrong time. You know, shit was already hot on the streets when Mayor Dinkins came in. So much was going on with Mayor Dinkins. Crack everything was like high and he had a lot to handle. But it doesn't matter that um, he went to this boy's room and he didn't go to the next bathroom. It doesn't matter because he didn't have nothing to do with it. But Dinkins didn't go to the little boy that got shot up. He didn't go to this boy's room. He didn't go to his room where the little girl got hit by a car. You know why? Because it didn't, it didn't bring up no response that at first was inadequate and charges that since he went to Gavin Cato's funeral and not Rankle Rosenbaum's, he did visit Rosenbaum in the hospital before he died, that he was biased. Dinkins was furious. I held his hand, he held mine, he looked up in my eyes, I looked at him, we talked to one another. The compassion and concern was demonstrated and the fact that I was not there at 8 o'clock this morning in no way diminishes the concern that I have. For the last 30 years, the violence, the images of Gavin Cato's Cato and Yankel Rosenbaum have continued to haunt. Hello, Haiti Films. Today we're on the corner of Utica and President. 17 years ago, 1991, August 1991, this city was shooken by an accident. The Crown Rights, the Crown Heights riot. Bronx, Boogie Down Bronx, BX. Home of KRS One. Home of Fat Joe. Tyreek, Peter Guns, you know. We're in the Bronx. We're in the Bronx. The BX. The BX. Little Haiti Films. Today we're in the BX, the Boogie Down Bronx. You know what I mean? We pulling up on Analog Live. Y'all remember Analog Live? Shit. For, for those that don't know about the Gang, it, we, we first started like in, uh, we was Warheads first, you know what I mean? We started, Warheads. we started uh, Montgomery Street, 921 Montgomery, apartment A6, we started the Warheads. And then, uh, you know, after a while, we, we switched our name to the Red Pill Gang. Analog Live, King X, Red Pill, Knowledge, Red Pill, Highs, Red Pill, Do or Die, Red Pill, Broncos, Red Pill, Bones, Red Pill, Bones, Red Pill, Analog Live. Uh, how they go? How we go again? Take that the video, pill. right? Yeah, Lil Haiti had the pleasure of working that on with the Red Pill Gang on that music video. 
So now we going from music video straight to documentary now. We're in the Bronx. We're in the BX. Little Haiti Films. Today we're in the Bronx. I'm about to pull up on. Ali. Hey, how you doing? Oh yeah, they're gonna win. They're gonna win it all, right? Yeah, right. They're gonna, they're gonna win the quarter. Of course, you already know. Politics. Eighty films today. We got Analog Live, Part Two. Yes, yes, yes. Taking it back, 1991, baby. Analog Live, uh, Red Pill Gang here with my boy, Little Haiti Films. And we about to go back to some memory lane right now, man. We're gonna talk about the Crown Heights riot, man. You know? 30 years ago today, a riot in Crown Heights, Brooklyn, tore the city apart. A cauldron of simmering racial tensions and polarizing politics grabbed the national spotlight and ripped the band-aid off wounds that continue to fester. CBS 2's political reporter Marsha Kramer takes a look back at how what then Mayor David Dinkins called the city's gorgeous mosaic came apart. Crown Heights was on fire. The looting, rioting, and violence that started on the night of August 19, 1991, would go on for four long days, injuring more than 150 cops and 38 civilians, and creating two martyrs, one black, the other Jewish. Seven-year-old Gavin Cato and 29-year-old rabbinical student Yankel Rosenbaum. They were, you know, people struggling to live. I think Gavin Cato, he died on the spot. You know, he died right there on the spot, you know. Try to get out the car and run, but somebody caught him. And, and um, somebody caught him, and, and he tried to resist, like get off me and fight back. And that's when people try to hold him down, and then he started fighting, and then everybody started beating him up, whatever, like that. Yeah.